A number of independent groups, including our group at Duke University, have recently identified a key relationship between polymorphisms in the IL-28B gene region coding for interferon lambda-3 and treatment response to peg interferon and ribavirin in genotype 1 HCV. These studies have been performed using a genome-wide approach. In our study, we investigated patients from the ideal trial. We, in this discovery cohort, we restricted our analysis to patients who were more than 80% adherent to therapy. We therefore felt it would be important to perform an intention to treat analysis, including all patients, to provide the most valuable material for, cl for clinicians to reference when seeing patients in their rooms. We also investigated the relationship between IL-28B genotype and viral kinetics, as well as the interaction between IL-28B genotype and week four rapid virological response. And in addition, in the online supplementary material, we provide a detailed breakdown of on-treatment and SVR rates according to ethnicity, as well as baseline viral load and fibrosis stage. So this analysis included over 1,600 patients from the IDEAL study, of whom most were Caucasian. All analyses focused on the top discovery SNP, RS1297-9860, which has three possible genotypes, CC, CT and TT, where the CC genotype has previously been associated with good treatment response. The frequency of the CC genotype was more common in Caucasians compared to African Americans, with an intermediate frequency in the Hispanics. And this difference in genotype frequency has previously been estimated to explain approximately 50% of, of the difference in SVR rates between the different populations. In the Caucasian cohort, with, good, with the good response CC variant, the rate of SVR was 69% in this intention to treat analysis, compared to 33 and 27% in the CT and CC patients respectively. This two to threefold increased rate of SVR was also observed in the African Americans and Hispanics, although the overall response rates were lower. The major clinical benefit was observed in the CC homozygotes, and the presence of one C allele was not associated with significant clinical benefit. The good responder CC patients, sorry, the good responder Caucasian CC patients had more rapid viral load, viral load reduction to week 12 of treatment. At week two of treatment, the median viral load reduction was two and a half logs, more than two log greater than that seen in the CT and TT patients. Similar differences were observed in the African American and Hispanic patients. This translated to higher rates of on-treatment, end of treatment and end of treatment res responses, as well as a lower rate of relapse. In a multivariable logistic regression model art, analyzing independent baseline predictors of SVR, the IL-28B genotype was the strongest predictor of SVR, stronger than ethnicity, baseline viral load, and fibrosis. Finally, when we considered the relationship between rapid virological response and IL-28B genotype, in this genotype 1 population, only 15% of patients, of, sorry, only 15% of Caucasians attained a rapid virological response. In this group, there was a high rate of SVR and IL-28B genotype was not important. Significantly, in the 85% of patients who did not attain an RVR, the IL-28B genotype was associated with a two to threefold higher response rate. In summary, in genotype 1 HCV patients, IL-28B genotype is strongly associated with increased SVR rate. Differences in genotype frequency explain much of the ethnic disparity in SVR rate, and this is driven largely by a profound influence on viral kinetics with Caucasians having a two log greater reduction in viral load as, as early as two weeks of treatment. IL-28B genotype is the strongest pretreatment predictor of SVR, and in non-RVR patients is associated with a two to threefold increased rate of SVR. We therefore believe that genotype 1 HCV patients can now be considered as good responder or poor responder patients according to their IL-28B genotype and IL-28B genotype testing will be relevant to clinical decision making when doctors are consulting with their patients.